Let's aim the pistol. Let's aim the pistol. Here we go. Hello everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to The Order 1886. We're going to continue the story in Chapter 16. In Brother Letters Embraces, the name of the chapter. In the last part, at the end of it, we entered Tesla's lab inside Westminster. So we're going to continue inside Tesla's lab and see what we can find. Hopefully Tesla hasn't been harmed too much. So let's jump into this. Nicola, what happened? Lady Lakshmi was right. He knew. I'll get you out of here. Come on. He's still in there. Oh, it's too late. There's nothing we can do. There's still something I must do. Oh, not the Devastator. Oh, wait, is that what it's called? I hate this gun. I oh, know this is the electrical one, isn't it? Of course. It's a look. It looks electrical, so it's obviously the electrical one. I knew you would return, brother. Come out of the shadows, damn you! I bet he's going to be a Lucan, Lycan even. <laughs> Lucan. <laughs> That's his name. You and I, we are not that different. I do what I must to protect my kind. We fight only for our right to live. That's a lie! One day, perhaps, you will understand. That was poor. Grayson, this is not the outcome I sought. Oh, sword fight. Okay. Is this the final encounter? Is it going to end in a quick time event? The same way dead, no dying right did? Oh, head. Of course. And we missed. How did he hit me? I've done everything right. Why did you even ask him to do that? I was thinking that he might have forgotten to that he can do this, so we could have had an easy win. You idiot, Galahad. Now I'm screwed. L2 for quick attack, R2 for strong. Oh, okay, that was bad. Let's do it quicker. I'm just going to do quick attacks because they'd be easier to land, I think. Because we fought this type before, the um, elders. I think he can just attack, dodge, attack, dodge. He's, he's going to attack now, watch. Dodge. Now I attack. Easy. Let's try a stronger attack. Oh, they're better, obviously. I'm just going to do stronger attacks from now on. They don't seem to be any slower. Okay, you've got a chance to miss. Head, square. I think I'm winning this fight so far. Even though I've just been dragged across the table. L1 for series of attacks. Whoa! When the meter is available. Is it available now? Well, I did it, so it must have been. God, I'm destroying this guy. Ah, oh, I pressed it. Come on. No biting. Head. Always the head. Did I impale his, his skull? Come on. Left. We're still not finished. Give him a heavy one. Oh, fudge. Am I dead? I'm dead. I feel like I'm dead. Yeah. Alright, so let's 
try this again. Um, so on the ground there, triangle, what's this? Oh, it's a massive block. Hopefully that done some damage, I'm not too sure how good that was. I don't know if we started the fight again or continued from close to where we left off, where we died. He doesn't look to be as damaged, you know, he hasn't got as many cuts on him, so I'm thinking it may have started again. Oh no, it's different. We haven't done this before. I must have stabbed him like 50 times. How is he not dead? Get the knife! Just reach for it! Well, on this, this final stab makes all the difference, does it? The other ones meant nothing. They did, did nothing to them. This... Okay. <laughs> He's naked. I've lived too long to not know this day would come. Why, Alistair? You have forced us outside all these years. I've seen things I am condemned to remember. Civilizations born and destroyed by humanity's incessant greed. The pride of men <coughs> slaughtering each other in the name of their so-called God. We will atone for our sins in time. But how can you justify the atrocities your kind have committed? <laughs> My kind... <coughs> My kind are no more evil than yours. <coughs> what of your sister? Your father? Was it all a lie? Izzy, my father. <coughs> I love them as my own blood. But they cannot begin to know the curse I have lived with. My son. Father. Forgive me. Anna, it is I who needs your forgiveness. I never meant this life for you. You knew. I have always known. I rescued him from the massacre of his family. Your father died by my sword. But a child? You didn't deserve such a fate. How could I have taken the life of an innocent? Confess this to the Council, Lord Chancellor. It is the only way to make amends for the havoc that has been unleashed. I cannot! The revelation would shake our order to its very foundations. So I am to be sacrificed. How many more must die to ensure an eternal silence? He is my son. He's not, though, is he? I cannot be the one to end his life. He's just a lichen that you found when he was a child. Isabeau and the Council must never discover the truth, lest all you hold dear perish. Do not ask this of me. Henceforth, you shall have fellowship with no knights. The Order must remain. United. You are no longer one of its heralds. Finish what you have begun and vanish! Men were never meant to live this life. So he wants me to finish him off and then disappear. Never be seen again. There shall come a day when all our burdens will end, brother. <laughs> Maybe then we shall know true peace. I think if he just shaves his moustache off and sideburns, he looks completely different. Then he could live a normal life. So my options here are square or look at the gun forever. So let's press square. Let's load the pistol. Let's aim the pistol. Let's aim the pistol. Here we go. 
He's an arse anyway. He's like, he's a traitor. Why are you feeling bad? Just do it. Bang. Oh, shit. That's the end. Hmm. It's not as short as I thought it was expecting it to be. To be honest, it's quite, it's probably just as long as Dying Light's main story, like, campaign. I'm not including all the side missions in Dying Light, of course, but the amount of videos it's took me to record this is similar to Dying Light, and I only focused on main story. But anyway, enough talk about a different game. This game I enjoyed. Um, very good looking. Actually, the gunplay is very good. It responds well. The cover system can be a bit, um, a bit annoying sometimes with the field of view and the black bars obstructing your view. But other than that, it's it's a story-driven shooter really. It's not 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 special. It doesn't do anything different. But it does what it does well. That's the best thing you can probably say about this game. And um, people told me about this when I was talking to friends that have played this. They said that it's open for a sequel. Obviously, I wouldn't say that's an obvious cliffhanger, you know? My expectations of what Galahad does now is he kills that guy and he goes off and lives the rest of his life in a foreign country. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't see that continuing. I don't really... I know it's obviously the the, the, uh, the lichens aren't finished. There's still loads beyond in London. But um, I feel like Galahad's story is complete there. It's over. That's his history. So, who knows? Anyway, guys, I really enjoyed the game. Hope you did. Um, I played it on hard. It wasn't actually that hard. There was a few points where I got killed just because I was being silly more than the game actually being challenging for me. And um, I'm glad I played it. It was a good experience for what games are expected to look like these days. Um, the, obviously, the gameplay was sim simple, basic. A lot of quick time events, which I think games need to stop doing that because there's too many games now that do quick time events and even end games with the quick time events because I think the game ended there with me just spamming X <laughs> to pick up a sword to stab him, then press square. You don't feel satisfied as a player doing that. You know, it's just like you're watching a cutscene while pressing a button. You know, nah, it's just mindless nut mashing. It's nah. It doesn't feel like you've achieved what Galahad has as, like, as, as a character. <laughs> I've got a feeling, though, if they do make a sequel, it will be The Order 1887, 1888, onwards, you know? Because, <laughs> uh, who knows if Galahad's gonna leave it the way it is, or if he will do as he's been told by his, you know, his main leader to just walk away. You know, you're not gonna fix this, so just leave it. <laughs> Sir Galahad, the whole of London is looking for you. We mustn't delay. Oh, we've got more to the game than I thought. Can you hear me? We're beyond the credits, and this is happening. Sir Galahad. Be at ease, Nicola. All is fine. So you say, my friends. The council has declared martial law throughout the city. There is no telling when the authorities will decide to mount an offensive. Now is not the time for heroics. I would advise we follow Lady Lakshmi's lead and leave the city. I'll join you shortly. And don't you know, I'm Galahad, no more. Okay then, so when people told me that the game ends on the cliffhanger, that's the true ending right there, the, after the, the main cutscenes. So, uh, I mean the credits, excuse me. So, um, Galahad is no longer a knight, he's gonna go rebel. So now I feel like the game is going to continue the series. So, maybe two years time we're playing, we're playing more of the order. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, see you next time guys, bye.